Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck, and today we'll be doing a glueless, 100% glueless install, and it is a 100% frontal glueless install, and I'll show you just now. You guys can see from ear to ear, nothing is bonded down. This is a frontal, and as you guys can see, even the sides are glueless, which is like, what? It also came with this beautiful color but it came with the bust down middle part it came just literally you could just cut the lace and go you're gonna see the little touches and finesse that i did to it because i always think it's nice when you just add your own finesse but just the fact that we have a unit that we can wear and just not have to do the most is awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial be sure to check out here vv a direct link to this beauty is in the description box and now let's get into it okay babies let's get it i love the gold and taupe packaging from Hair Vivi. Inside, it's loaded with beautiful goodies. This bag here contains the wig, and I'll show you all of the other goodies in just a moment. This here is the star of the show. Her name is Fallon, and she is a brown lace front wig. She comes pre-curl. She comes pre-everything. You can see she's set as a center part. This is a fake scalp lace wig that has been colored curled cut to perfection absolutely beautiful and i really want you to see the good inside construction of the cap as i mentioned she is a fake scalp lace wig and she does come with the adjustable elastic band for a little bit of extra support i'm going to go ahead and cut off the tag and it does let you know that once you cut the tag the product is yours there are no refunds or returns or exchanges once you cut off that tag I'm going to go ahead and secure my head by putting it back into a low pony and I'm going to put on my HD wig cap and just buff my foundation shade into the lace or not the lace but the wig cap um, so that it matches my complexion. I also cut a few slits in the back so that it's not too tight on my hairline. Now let's go ahead and apply the wig applying the adjustable elastic band first and then putting the wig on top and look how beautiful this lace is. So one good bonus about this one is that because it comes with the fake scalp you will not need to use the ball cap method as long as your wig cap is behind the actual wig or like where the lace starts you won't be able to see that at all this is what the wig looks like from the back I love 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 the color combination on this one the hairline fits glueless so this is a glueless install and they did pre pluck her to perfection you can barely even tell that the lace is still attached that's how amazing this one is so I'm going to begin the install process which is literally just going to be a one step cut the lace I like to go ahead and cut Cut off the ear tabs first I believe that cutting everything off in sections helps you to get the exact and precise cut that you need trying to rush it and just do it all in one motion is the easiest way to make a mistake so I cut off one section and then I cut off the other you can just use your fingers or a comb to separate what needs to be cut off and then just proceed to cut it off now I'm going to cut off the excess lace and I'm just using traditional hair shears, nothing special. You literally can't see that half the lace is still on. It blends with my skin so effortless and seamlessly that you literally, literally, literally are having melted lace without doing anything. And now we have done that one step to cut off the lace and we are completely installed. You guys know I'm going to add some extra finesse to it, but look how beautiful flat and flush the install process was. So here I'm just taking the edge control from BeautyDeckBeauty.com and slicking my edges back. I want everything to be flawless from ear to ear, especially because we're not doing any baby hair. So it has to be on fleek. I'm going to do the dynamic duo. I'm going to do this in the parting as well as along the hairline. And this is just going to make sure everything is flat, frizz free. Everything was already flat to begin with, but again, I'm extra, so I'm just going to go the extra amount to make sure that everything is perfect. Some specs about this wig, as I mentioned, her name is Fallon. You can, um, when you click the link to this wig in the description box, you'll see there's some few options for how you customize your wig. You can set her as a left side part or a middle part. Also, you can choose a size small cap and then a medium cap. And then it does come in a few different lengths as well. Also, you guys seen that there is a fake scalp in this one and it makes the wig look 
absolutely beautiful along the parting space. But of course, if you're not my complexion, you don't have to worry. There are three different options for fake scalp. So you'll just go to the website and you'll be able to get the information you need. Also check the description box for all the specs on my wig so you can know exactly what I have. I did add the Fenty concealer on top of the parting space and that's just by habit. It already came with a perfect lace. Again, I'm just going to turn it up a lot, but you guys seen the before and after. And honestly, you did not need this at all. I'm also putting a foundation at the hairline, another step that was not necessary and you guys could see. But again, I just wanted everything to blend with me and be customized to my look to perfection. So now that we are installed and we're pretty much done, I'm going to continue my finesse and I did go ahead and add a melt belt to the hairline. This is just going to make it melt. We added zero product and I'm going to show you after I take it off that it's still not bonded down. I didn't secretly add anything to it, but it just helps it to like press into the skin and it really, really helps it to melt. While we did that, I went ahead and turned the curls up a notch. Although I came with a beautiful wavy texture, I wanted to just add a few quick wand curls on each side. This is just going to give me a more like complete and finished look. But again, I'm all about easy, low maintenance. So if you purchase this wig, don't feel pressure to like style the ends. Literally just wear them as they are for a while. And then, you know, when you get tired of that, you can switch it up. You can also see that this one takes a curl very, very well. Although I am using the wand curler, which is super easy, I'm not holding it there um, much time at all. I did not add any product to it before, but I will be adding the Sebastian Shapers at the end just so that the curls can hold. And this is the Shapers right here. And this is a comparison. Look how much sheen and bounce and body the hair has naturally. And I love, again, I'm so obsessed with the colorway. It's almost like a blonde streak in the front. It's like a honey blonde, honey brown look. I did the opposite side off camera, being sure to seal it in with a little bit more of the shapers. Now we can remove that elastic band. And you guys can see it looks like we've bonded the wig down. It's pressed into perfection and it's not missing the baby hair at all. I'm just going to use a wide tooth shower comb to kind of curl the or comb the curls out and marry everything together. Everything is absolutely beautiful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Get a load of that hairline. You don't need baby hair at all. So I just did a whole lot of talking and apparently I wasn't filming not one thing. So let's run it back. We are done with the look. Absolutely love it. With this one, we do have it set as 100% glueless. This is a frontal. And as you guys can see, from ear to ear, this baby fits glueless. The wig was pre-plucked. The lace is tinted. It was set as a center part. Literally, once I cut off the excess lace, I could have just left it like that. You guys did see I did add the powder or the, the concealer and the foundation. And that's just to kind of like customize it. That's just something that I love to do regardless. And then with what's really even more nice about it, it came styled and with a color uh, already in it. And the color is absolutely beautiful. This wig is like butter. The texture is so much body and bounce to it. I did go ahead and customize and add my own curls with the wand curler just because I really wanted just a little bit more like heavier definition. But you guys seen it already came with a nice wave to it. If you just want to cut the lace and just uh, you know, from there, just go. You really can. So I did show you guys the dust bag. This is the one that the wig was in. They did also give us a smaller version of that one. And this one came with a free goodies. Again, I'm sorry, I already filmed this or I thought I was filming, but I wasn't recording. But inside you do get your dolphin clips or somebody, some people call them crocodile clips. And what's nice is theirs actually has their logo on it. A lot of people laugh at YouTubers for like doing the hand behind a thing or like, you know, putting your hand behind the product that you're showing. But if you see, like when you try to put it behind, it'll get super blurry. And as soon as you put a surface behind it, it'll kind of focus. So it's a reason behind the craziness, but they gave us two of those. And then they also gave us a um, baby hair brush. And this also does have their brand and logo on it. And then I also got this beauty and i also got a sneak peek of it already but it says fine jewelry look how gorgeous when you open this box this right here is absolutely beautiful now i'm almost certain this probably doesn't come as a free gift for everybody so you gotta double check for this but if you know me my anklets 
my necklaces I love a good Rolo chain so this is right up my alley and just look at the box and the packaging I've never seen anything like this before it says push <gasps> oh it's a Rolo chain so this is actually beautiful and I'm gonna get such good use out of it I have a couple of these already but I don't think I have one in this length and I have this necklace here that has my three babies on it so it's really cute to add or stack. Super nice. So thank you, Hair VB, for this. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I can sit here and talk for hours about the same thing and how amazing this wig is. But you guys can already see the proof is in the pudding. This one is absolutely beautiful. A direct link to her is in the description box. You'll also find this in links of the few things that we use, including like the little wand curler because that was super nice. And it actually kind of matches their brand and their vibe. That gets taupey color super nice so thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you guys for watching and sticking around this long in the video i'm having trouble keeping the hot tool up but as always i'll see you in the next one smooches